Hi guys, today I thought I'd do a swipe on a MDF butterfly that I made up. So I've already put the pillow paint down just to save a bit of time, which is Low Sheen House Paint by British Paints. It's quite a good paint, so that works quite well. Nice and flexible. So it holds its shape really well, but still allows it to move around a bit. Perfect for blooms and stuff like that if you're in Australia. If you're not, well, oops. I know there is some other type of paint that you can use if you're in different countries, but unfortunately, I wouldn't have a clue. So, what I'm going to do is, it's a double swipe. So, we'll swipe one direction and swipe another way. That was, what was that? That was Lakeside by this little piggy. This one here is just a custom purple that I've made up that has sequins and some other bits and pieces in it. Alright, so we'll lay that down as well. Okay. Ah, that's what it was. It was Athena. By this little piggy. I just read the lid. <laughs> So yeah, that was Athena, and I've added some purple um, Perlex pigments to it. Now this is Comet, by this little piggy, which is an interference colour, so that changes colours when you tilt it in the light. Really cool little trippy effect. So we'll lay some of that down. This one here is a custom green. That has an interference yellow through it. Totally not a fan of green, but I don't mind that colour. Okay, I think we might put some fluorescent pink. Now this is Liquitex fluorescent pink. But it's got sequins, which is an interference colour by this little piggy mixed in with it. So when it dries you're still going to actually see the sequins, little shimmers and things like that through it. <coughs> what is this, one? this one's Athena for this little piggy. And I mixed some Macor in with that, which is another interference pigment. <clears throat> this one is Submarine by this little piggy. As you notice, I use a, a whole heap of this little piggy pigments because they are really quite nice colours. Still use Perlex and some other different brands of pigments, but 
the list little piggy pigments are really nice. I quite like them. So this one is Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex, which is actually a transparent colour. And I'm only putting that along the edge parts. Hopefully my arm's not totally in the way. Okay. Now you don't go too heavy on your Diox Purple because it is really highly pigmented. And it takes over everything. This one is a fluorescent orange with a tiny bit of red in it. You'll notice that's really thick because it's absolutely cooking in here once again. What is it today? 52 degrees, 53 degrees, something like that in here, Celsius. So that's about 126. Fahrenheit. So yeah, this bloke is cooking yet again. Gotta love Australia. Alright, that should do it I reckon. It's a whole heap of colours. Um, now, I'll get a little torch, like that one, it's a little refillable gas butane torch. Just to pop the bubbles. Wipe out the camera while I'm at it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is grab a playing card to use as a swipe tool. If I can get my pinky fingers in the box. Okay. So playing cards. These are jumbo size ones. So... What I usually do is just cut them down a little bit narrower. So I reckon about mm, that wide should do it. So just a little bit more than half. Then what I'm going to do is put on some black Selectivator, which is Amsterdam Lamp Black, mixed with Australian Flow Troll. Flow Troll. So I told you I was cooking. Can't even speak. Okay, so we've got the black on. Ratio, yeah, there's about three, four to one, something like that. You have to mess around with it because it's so hot. Then I'm putting on Titanium White, that's Amsterdam, with Australian Flow Troll. So, like so. Now we're going to give that a swipe. Grab my other playing card. And do the same. To go the other direction. So I'll put some of that on there. Put some white on. So it's like exactly like the other one. Okay, then go like that. Hopefully the cells should all pop up and look reasonably cool. Now you'll notice where you first put the cell activator on, the thickest, 
it's dark and thick so it's harder for the cells to pop through so you can give it a little bit of a blow with a straw that now where these white cells were there was no colors the colors were all on that side so you get a whole heap of white cells pop up when you just put black cell activator over the top which is pretty cool then what I'm going to do is give that a bit of a tilt so I've got some negative space up the top Okay, like that, totally covered in paint. Now, put that down there on the spinner. What I like to do is just press down a little bit because there's paint everywhere. And hopefully it doesn't fly off. If it does, it's gonna make a cool video. Okay, get rid of some of that. We'll give that a bit of a spin. Just go slow. Let it move, do its thing. Go back the other way. So I'm getting a little bit of the paint off the top, but not lots of it yet. Because what I want to do is go in with a skewer one of these little dudes put some little modifications through best to do it while the paint's still quite thick that way your colors don't break up too much So you can just go in and do any sort of fancy pattern you like. Doesn't really matter. Leave it up to your own imagination. Or you don't have to put those little wispy bits in, but I like to because it's just fun. Alright. Now, we'll give that a little bit more of a spin. So I'll get some of this paint off from the outside edge. Okay, we'll give that a bit more of a go. That should spread quite out, quite far. Go back the other way, just to keep things even. Okay. And there we have a little butterfly swipe that diox purple looks awesome in the light because it's transparent it really shines and glows okay that's it for today hope you like that one Take care, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.
Okay, bye for now.